Many people say having kids is one of the best things to ever happen to someone. Children bring families so much love in life with their innocence and playfulness. Most parents think it's ideal to have a son and a daughter. This couple had been trying to have a baby girl for many years, and at last they got pregnant with one. Little did they know that they were in for a surprise. The married California couple Katie and Angelo had two incredible boys. Having a baby can be such an exciting thing for couples. Normally, parents feel a sense of excitement along with some nerves as the moment their baby will be born comes near. At the Sharp Memorial Hospital in San Diego, two days had been all about prepping for a baby for a specific family. Once Katie and Angelo discovered they were pregnant, they were extremely excited to have a new addition to their growing family. The parents were so happy to learn they would finally be having a girl since they always dreamed of having one. When the doctors gave them the news, Katie and Angelo were already ecstatic. Katie and Angelo had been married for a while by then and they decided it was a good time to grow their family. The two followed through on their decision by having two boys. The parents knew that having two healthy sons was a huge blessing, but all the same, Katie and Angelo felt like their family was still missing something deep down. The couple still wanted more kids since they felt they could handle having more children. Katie and Angelo were rather effortless as parents. They were capable of properly taking care of their sons and they thought the more the merrier. When they found out Katie was pregnant again, they were delighted. The news sounded like music to their ears. They were so happy to have the opportunity to grow their family. They went straight for a checkup at the doctors, wasting no time. When it came to Katie and the baby's health, they didn't want to take any chances. There were so many ways this could have been able to go poorly, so it was important to them to make sure they were all healthy and well. Throughout the early weeks of the pregnancy, it was confirmed by the doctors that the progress Katie was making was healthy. However, one day after Katie had gone for a routine checkup, the doctors had another thing to say. This was the moment that would change the couple's lives forever. When the couple went to see the doctor that day, they expected everything to go just as smoothly as it had before. Well, their doctor, Sean Danishman, told them Katie had to go to a specialist, which alarmed them. This is definitely not what a couple wants to hear when they go to a doctor. Katie and Angelo got pretty nervous since they were scared they were going to get bad news. However, when they asked the doctor for the reason they had to see a specialist, he gave them a simple answer. This was the answer they didn't see coming. Since a pregnant woman had to be taken care of very well and protected, their doctor didn't want to take any risks when it came to Katie's health. He mentioned that he spoke to her and said, Katie, we belong in the hospital now. The couple didn't hesitate to follow the doctor's orders. They made their way to the hospital to keep both Katie and the baby safe. The doctors explained to the couple that the main reason Katie needed extra attention was that her pregnancy was considered to be a high-risk one. High-risk pregnancies are capable of harming the baby and the mother as well, so they had to be carefully monitored. If you don't understand why all of a sudden the doctors were being all fussy about Katie's pregnancy, then know that there's a good explanation for it all. This was because she wasn't just expecting one baby, she was expecting more. Katie wasn't pregnant with one, she was pregnant with three babies. Imagine having to carry three babies all at once. It was definitely the doctor's right decision to instruct Katie to be at the hospital and get more care. Not only was it all overwhelming, but the situation was dangerous. This pregnancy was rather unique for Katie. As you might have already guessed, after finding out they were having triplets, Katie and Angelo couldn't be happier. Since the family wanted to grow, it wasn't bad news to find out they would be having three more kids. Despite all the excitement, though, there was an issue with Katie's pregnancy. Two of the babies in her room were sharing only one placenta. This situation's very rare and complicated, so doctors had to keep a close eye on her and the babies. The fact that two of the babies were sharing one placenta wasn't the biggest problem, but it did have its disadvantages. During her pregnancy, the problems that came up were pretty serious. One of them was the high probability that the babies would be born prematurely. This is rather common with twins too, but with triplets it's a much higher risk. Aside from that, it was the possibility that the triplets would have underdeveloped lungs or suffer from brain blades. Not to mention, some problems could follow the babies even after they're born. As time went by, Katie was in her 27th week of pregnancy. Her stomach was getting very big by then, so she had to be admitted to a hospital to make sure she was having a healthy pregnancy. She needed to be far from her family, but she had no other choice. Anything could happen between now and my due date, Katie said. Carrying just one baby is hard enough, so just imagine what it would be like to be pregnant with three. The ultrasounds that she got kept showing steady growth for the babies, which did calm her somewhat. Katie was getting more and more nervous as she thought about what she had in store for the future with her three babies. We hear a lot of stories, she said during an interview. She said it was hard for her and Angelo not to hear the terrible story said in the hospital. She tried not letting it get to her, but Katie was disturbed by the things she'd heard. Katie had a bad feeling that she might not get to welcome all three babies she was meant to give birth to. 
She said, You know of triplets that don't make it, especially for identical twins. The body absorbs one of them. Stories like that stressed her out, keeping her up at night. Naturally, this only made matters worse. While Katie's pregnancy was a special one, it definitely wasn't the first. Plenty of women before her have been pregnant and given birth to three babies at once. These women all gave birth to triplets with a specific medical team that specialized in those areas. The babies were referred to as A, B, and C. Angelo and Katie could only hope the babies would come out healthy. As time went by, the couple discovered that baby B wasn't getting enough fluids. It's needless to say that the baby was affected by this situation. It ended up being somewhat smaller than the other two. The only thing Katie and Angelo were able to do was wait and see what the outcome would be for baby B. The couple desperately hoped and prayed that they'd be welcoming all three babies when the time came. This was the most difficult time for them. All they could do was wait. After the doctors did everything within their power to keep Katie's pregnancy healthy, she went into labor just one day after her 32nd week began. Everyone sighed in relief. This was the time that made the most sense for her to go into labor and put the babies in as little risk as possible. This meant that Katie carried the babies successfully without any more complications. Everyone was so happy to find out that things were turning out just as planned. So she went into labor, but how did the delivery itself go? Katie and Angelo had a roller coaster throughout the pregnancy. They were both so happy to find out about it, but soon were devastated when they learned about the possible complications. In the end, however, Katie's delivery was a success. All three newborns were transferred to an individual team for advanced life support. The minute each baby was delivered, the doctor carefully examined them to make sure the newborns weren't showing any signs of health problems. The doctors went on to help the babies with their breathing and make sure they were stabilized. When everything necessary was done, the triplets were taken to the intensive care unit for neonatals, or the NICU. Katie was now able to recover too, and the babies were being taken care of and washed by the hospital team. While treating the babies, the doctors were careful not to make any mistakes. They revealed that they had to put a little more effort into opening the baby's lungs and that it was difficult to do. As the doctors did this, Katie and Angelo were completely helpless. They had tears in their eyes as they watched from the other side of the room. As the doctors were doing whatever they could to help the triplets and ensure their health, Angelo and Katie were praying. As it turns out, the prayers were answered. All three babies were okay and turned out fine. Thanks to the doctors and all the effort they put in, the three little girls, Trish, Danielle, and Rebecca were stable. They were then ready to be taken to intensive care. This was where babies were reunited with their parents and could spend their time together. Despite the fact that everyone was relieved to find out that all three of the babies were stable, there were still some other things to be checked. We still have to remember these babies are small and are predisposed to other complications, their doctor explained. Since the babies were born together, each one needed to be handled carefully, and the doctors had to keep a close eye on them. And again, long-term issues, but so far we're excited that everything has turned out very well, Dr. Danishman said in an interview. Katie and Angelo were finally able to breathe a little easier. Their biggest fear was for the babies not being born healthy, and that didn't come true, thankfully. The couple and doctors had worked together and had a successful outcome, so there was most definitely a reason to celebrate. Once Katie had some rest, she was prepared to meet her newborn babies. Angelo helped her by wheeling up her neonatal unit, where her babies were kept under monitoring. This was to make sure nothing else could go wrong. After a pregnancy that was difficult and filled with anxiety, the parents would be able to finally see their new babies. They finally had the chance to see their kids and interact with their little girls who they waited for. Katie wished for a daughter for so long, so she felt so accomplished to finally have her little girls. Just like she said before the delivery, she carried one baby in her arms and brought her near her chest as she whispered, It feels so right. Since Katie had to wait so long, the moment was very emotional for her. She had tears falling down her face as she held her baby. Pregnancy is by no means an easy experience. A woman needs to be incredibly strong both physically and mentally in order to successfully give birth. Plenty of things can go wrong, but this was a case where everything turned out all right. Katie wasn't the only one drained by the experience. Even though Angelo was ecstatic to hear that he and Katie would have triplets, he was still stressed out about the complications his wife went through. However, as soon as he met his baby daughter Trisha and saw her open her eyes, he felt like that moment was as special as it gets. Angelo was so happy to have his new daughter in his arms. He felt like he was in a dream, like none of it was real. As her father, the two had an immediate bond from the first time he held his daughter. Everything would have been impossible if the hospital's entire midwife team wouldn't put in the work and effort that they did. The Sharp Memorial Hospital team deserves all the credit for the successful birth.